2024 NASCAR Cup Series heads towards its conclusion, which is the end of the third year of the Gen 7 chassis. It's brought plenty of excitement out on the ovals, but back at the shop, teams have had to adapt. Its modular construction has meant getting to grips with a very different workflow. If you go back two or three years ago when we were building uh, the Gen 6 car, 96% of that car was built in these two buildings. For now, you get a chassis picked up from NASCAR, it's in three pieces, center section, front clip, rear clip, it comes here, we measure the components, we put it all together, and we remeasure it, and then it comes over for assembly. Same thing with a body kit now, where literally this entire body folds together with these flanges. We'll assemble the frame, kind of get some pre-body work started on it. Um, we have a measurement process we have to go through that captures all of the chassis points in that that lets us utilize it for simulation and those type of things. It'll go into our body hanging department where the clothing essentially of the chassis goes on it and we put the body on the car and give it that shape of the Mustang, the Dark Horse Mustang that we're looking for. And you start bolting on your Ford components. You start with your roof and then start putting the fenders, the doors and the nose, the tail, all that kind of stuff on there. You finally get the body and the underwing on. A lot of different scans go into that of maximizing the body and the underwing. And then it comes out to the shop floor and we put the transaxle in, we put the engine in, radiator, all those mechanical things to make it run and um, the suspension on and then start setting it up and going to the racetrack. Gen 7 was designed to lower costs. They produced a record equaling 19 different winners in 2022 and there have been 18 so far this year. So it's also created a more level playing field. Back at the race shop, even the engine is supplied ready to run. We at Stuart Haas Racing don't really get to do a lot for the engine. They get supplied to us by Roush Gates. So we have collaborations leading up into the event of where we would like the power bands for certain tracks. We do a lot of work long before the engine gets here. So that's probably more of where our involvement comes in. But once the engine gets here, it's kind of a drop it in place and then eventually they'll make their way to what we call our surface plates here where the teams will go and implement their setups that they've come up with to take to the racetrack, get it prepared to go into the race truck, get it prepared for technical inspection, which is when it comes off the truck, the first place it'll go to. So pretty much has to be ready to go right when it gets out of the truck at the racetrack. Not much time to go to the garage and work on anything, so it has to be very complete from the time it gets loaded. Everybody's done a good job here of, of, of learning how to put the car together. You know, this is the third year with this car. I'm trying to create more consistency with these cars and uh, efficiencies with them as, as we're putting them together. So it's definitely a different mindset with, um, you know, when you bolt a complete car together versus fabricating and building and, and, and uh, putting it together. 